Howdy guys, welcome to the Packham Snack. This week I wanted to talk about uh, some of the actual data that supports what we've been seeing in the market. So up on the board here, we're looking specifically at the Western and Beachside suburbs uh, because that's where the majority of our offices are for Harcourts Packham. Now, what we can see here is that the yellow dots represent the volume of listings in the market during 2019. And then here, the uh, green dots represent the amount of listings that we've seen month by month in 2020. So you can see there a very clear retraction in the amount of listings every single month, all the way through from January to December. So we can see there and quantify what you've been noticing that there's been a huge retraction of listings available for you to look at in the market. Uh, let's have a look at the next slide. What we found very interesting here is that, uh, particularly in the Western and Beachside suburbs, there's a lot of influx into our area. If you look at the bar across the top here, uh, only 44% of the people searching on domain uh, were actually searching from within Western and Beachside areas when they were shopping for those properties in that area. But in fact, 56% of the people uh, searching for properties in Western and Beachside were from out of area. And you can see the breakdown here. They were looking at property coming from the south and southeast suburbs, the north, the east, Adelaide centrally, and a percentage of people there actually from out of state. We'll have a look at the next screen. This one I think you'll find very interesting. Some of the uh, uh, local suburbs that we deal with quite often, like Blackwood and Oaklands Park, you can see there are 100% of people that search for those properties were from within South Australia. But when we look at these coastal locations like Glenelg and Brighton, you can see that a very uh, a healthy portion of people shopping for those suburbs came from interstate. Glenelg being the highest there at 28.3% of searches actually coming from interstate and also 21% of searches coming from the eastern suburbs of South Australia looking to make that coastal move. Glenelg is really uh, quite known outside South Australia, just like we know Byron Bay, people from interstate probably know Glenelg and so it attracts a fair bit of uh, attention from people searching from interstate. Uh, Brighton, 21.8% of people searching were searching from over the border in New South Wales. So uh, they're buying up pedigree suburbs, they're borrowing for very low interest rates, they're getting really great rental returns here. And people keep asking me, what do we think is gonna happen as we move forward in this market? Is the bull run going to continue or is it going to actually retract? And I feel that if Adelaide was an isolated market, the market very well could retract, but one thing that could really keep this bull run alive is if this starts trending, where interstate buyers start coming over the border with their deep pockets and buying up all of our real estate. And I've got to say that once they start catching on about the quality of life here and what it costs to enjoy the lifestyle in South Australia and that formula of buying beautiful properties in our best areas with low holding costs and very high rental yields, I think we could see that really, really continue. Again, you don't need to do it on your own. If you're thinking about anything in real estate, the best place to start is to put in a call to us and we're going to help you out. And that's the Packham Snack of the Week.